So I was 18 by the time I got married. I had my birthday and uh, I was 18 and... And you left home? You were still 26. Yeah, you... Well, I hope so. <laughs> no, no honeymoon, because we couldn't afford it. No, we, we went straight back to work, actually. Um, on the, was on the Monday? I think it was a long yeah. weekend. We, we got married on a long weekend and then back into work. Back on a Tuesday. Yes, so yeah. that's yeah. something to remember, very different to most people. <laughs> and Glenn came along how long later? Was that? Uh, I was about 23, I think, when Glenn was born. And, and we'll never forget it because it was late at night. All the trains had stopped running. We were living at Cronulla. Yes, Cronulla. Yeah. In a unit of Cronulla, the trains had stopped running because they used to stop running about nine o'clock at night. The first, I think the first time we raced to the, we, we went to the hospital and they sent you home. I said I was having the baby. I was having That's the just baby. That's thought she was having the child and the fella <laughs> and, and the, he said, oh, you silly people, something like that. He wasn't very nice. He said, you silly, you silly people. He said, uh, you're not, you're not you yet. It's another couple of weeks yet. And was it that night? Or, yeah. And that then night. that night was very late. It was very late. It might have been 11, 11.30 mm. something. We, uh, I ended up running everywhere because we didn't have a car in those days. And no phone. And no phone. And I'm running over the railway station, not realising that they'd already stopped running. There's no one at the railway station. I'm running all around the place trying to find a phone box and just as I'm heading back towards the unit, the fellow across the road pulled in in his car. Mm. 